Hey guys, what's going on? Blue Muse 64 here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. Um, last video ended like 99% way through the cutscene, so I just ended the cutscene and now we're on to here where we are looking at the new hideaway. We called it a sanctuary in the last video, which you know. That night, five years ago, we destroyed what for many was a symbol of hope for a reason they'll never know. We cannot blame them for thinking us the cause of their misery. Though it's to give them a better tomorrow, they see only that we've made their lives harder today. Yet the boil must be lanced if it is to heal. I can't help but wonder if we've made the right choice. When Sid said that he wanted to create a world where we were free, free to choose our own path, I honestly don't think it mattered to him if that choice was right or wrong. Only that it was our own. I miss him. <laughs> A world where we can live and die as equals. That's what he wanted. What we want. And that's why I bear his name. It's why we've all chosen to bear his legacy. And... I'm not going to let anything stand in our way. Rides over, lovebirds. Home sweet home. Yippee. Oh, Torgo. You know what? I should go pet my dog. I should go find my dog and pet my dog as soon as I'm done gaming. Really hope the Moogle survived. Really hope the Moogle survived. If you remember, there was a Moogle. Oh, oh hello. Asking after you. Let's go and see him. Okay. Uh, never a dull moment. Otto. I feel like I should know who Otto is. Uh, Jill is on, right? All right. I guess Jill's doing her own thing. We got a we got a whole elevator up in here. Sympathetic soul and plank polisher. So here's the new Arate stone. Um, ooh, shiny. What do you need? What do you want? Ooh. New sword. No scratches, all right? That it? Fine, Clive. Shouldn't be new what armor, should there? Yeah. yeah Anything else? Back, are you? Well, you've forgotten already, because I haven't. Still. Things here ain't too bad. <coughs> nah. I'm seeing ya. Um. I should just have Blackthorn make me a new. Well, don't just stand there gawping. If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. Ooh, shiny. I'm tempted, but I don't really need to lower the cooldown. Increases limit regeneration by 6% or 3% dealing. Huh. 
Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. How much money do I have? Hmm. That's quite a... That's good. I'm thinking about that. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. Um, have we any more knuckle pies? I love this. this gives a stare of eyes, man. I'll do this one. Once the hall's swept, it's over to the tavern crown for me. Still smitten with the serving girl, are you? He's a fair one, all right. Ooh, shiny. It's cool. Oh, goodies. Okay, they're blocking that door. Seen the Moogle. That worries me. Did you just miss him? Is he back here? here. Charlie says I can't go and play until I finish my songs. Well then hurry up. Oh my god, it's a math book. Chocobos? I don't know. Depends on how many antelopes. Finish them! We need three for curling Good beans. day to you, Sid. Loot. Loot is the occasion. Go on. Eat up. Bumper. What's the matter? Hey, yeah. Sid. <laughs> you look as pale as the day your predecessor slung you in the cell next to mine. Not about to have another fit, are you? Of course you are. You're a changed man now. We both are. The Lawsman says I can borrow as many books as I can carry. This was all I could carry. <laughs> I like reading. Reading is fun. OK, 
Can't go that way. Escape from the slave markets. How'd you manage that? I had some help, but it was mostly luck. The others weren't so lucky. Hmm. Oh, there he is. Okay. Okay. More loot. I hope you don't mind, Sid. I changed the linens in your chambers while you were away. Oh, thanks, dude. All right, let's speak with Otto. Oh, there you are, Claude. Word of your adventures arrived this morning. Victor sent his thanks. <laughs> I doubt Kupka will miss the force he sent to catch me. Not a single one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us. No one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Any news while we were away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republican army. Should be back any day now. Understood. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. Still can't work that one out? There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. Yet this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has her reasons. Okay. Trust I'm not intruding. Back from your mission? I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone. One might say the same of you, Vivian Ninetales. I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. So, to what do I owe the honor? Could it be that you've come for one of my lessons? <laughs> Is that so hard to believe? Very well, then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? But the real question is, how did we get here? That's a Minecraft advancement. Long though Sambrek's dominion over northeastern storm has endured, recent days have seen the blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. For which reason she has continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Odin would sooner pawn his sword than Walud relinquish Ash. And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambrekwa boots. Little wonder, then, that Sylvester set his sights on the Crystalline Dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. It was five years ago, while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor, a nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. Certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the Twins. The Non-Aggression Treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. The Holy Empire. The Dalmechian Republic. The Kingdom of Walud. And of course, our friends in Yaran. Who will be left standing, I wonder, when the last drop of blood is spilled? I don't know. You were born in Twinside. Do you not fear for your home? Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet in spite of it all, she has ever endured. 
and when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. Now, as to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me and we shall consider ourselves even. Even. Right. Return this volume to old tomes in the shelves. Tell him it was... Um, adequate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. Can I talk to you yet? Eh? No? Okay. Okay. There's a symbol by your name. And how may I assist you today? I admit. Reputable fellowship. I do wish our lawsman cool. would consider. Harpocrates. so cool. It just looks so cool. Alright. Love the ease being thrown everywhere. Those you know, like every single word. Now that is a name I have not heard for a long time. So long, in fact, I had half forgotten it was mine. Welcome home, Clive. You were missed, as always. I believe this belongs to you. Vivian asked me to return it. <laughs> Our resident scholar devours books faster than young Tet does lemon tarts. Would that I could do the same, but alas, I no longer possess the necessary constitution for such indulgence, either in words or tarts. That said, I have continued my search for mention of the creature you encountered at Drake's Head, but without access to the great libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion, I regret that I have been able to find little and less. I am sorry. Please, don't apologize. I'll send word to our associates. See if they can't furnish you with more books. I fear it is not more books that I require, but the right ones. Mayhap we look in the wrong places. There are still libraries to the north. I'll see what I can do. You are too kind. There are not many in this world who would indulge the whims of a tired old historian. Not too tired to go filching Kubo nuts, though. Always got a pocket for him. Nix him off the Moogle. Hush now. We all know there's no such thing as Moogles. <laughs> the twins seem well. Aye. Yet they laugh far too little for one so young. The loss of their parents weighs heavy on them. However well they hide it, Titan took much from us that night, from some more than others, and the wounds that remain. They are not quick to heal. Which is why we must give them all the time they need. That we must, just as I must give you the time you need to recuperate. 
Good day, Clive. Good day. Gav will be back soon. I should get some rest while I can. We're looking at for time. 20 minutes, okay. Not back a blink and you're already off solving everyone's problems. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scowl. I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. What it was like to be myself. And it's all thanks to you, Talia. The scalpel did most of the work. Ah, before I forget, a rider was here with a letter from Gav. Otto left it on your desk. Not a stolus. All right, I'll have a look. And then you get some rest. Target is great, man. What could Gav have thought worthy of a letter? We love Targa. Jill. Hello, Jill. Otto was here earlier with a letter from Gav. He left it on your desk. There it is. Oh, cool. Okay. Marched on the Empire twin side, and the men of the rock have been summoned to the front. Something big is brewing. I. What does Gav have to say? The Republican army is on the march, leaving Randalar in Hugo Kuka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance. The one we've been waiting for. But look how far we've come. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted. We might have achieved so much more, but each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain, war after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. It. it was there. It wasn't an illusion. I heard him call out to Ultima. If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that... that thing. Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. To a world without Mother Crystals. 
Sid. So the North is lost. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this... This is far, far worse than any could have imagined. It is only a matter of time before the twins are no more. The world marches ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Tell me, brother, are our efforts in vain? Master Clive, a moment, if you... Uh, my apologies, I didn't mean to... intrude. Not at all. Uh, we were just... Discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. It's Martha, from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway, I'll be in the mess when you've finished. Very well. Martha's kind of a big deal. Well, the Gathering Martha Star. leave the rest. Some lads from the Imperial garrison in Rosaria started a fight over at Martha's Rest. Blood was spilled, bones were broken. The usual. But somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished without a word to anyone. And that ain't like her, Clive. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastpool, the Empire's been tightening its grip ...ran the Duchy's balls. They've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway... ...claiming they're traitors to the Holy Throne... ...conspiring to restore the House of Rosfield to power. I know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers... ...meek enough to stay put. Naturally, old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing... ...complaining that it was getting harder and harder to take bearers in. And now she's missing. If she's fallen into the hands of the Empire, we could be next. A couple of Curse Breakers are already on their way to the inn. They should help speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, you might end up having to save their asses and all. Don't worry, Otto. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. You know what I completely forgot to do? Check out the new stuff I got for Ramu. All right, so we got you, right lightning rod. Not really sure of my play style. Of course, there's judgment, which I mean, I might just have to save up for judgment. Because, I mean, you can't. Uh... 
take that. Uh, your stomp. I don't need the double stomp, so yeah. Increases number of lock ons. Hmm. Might buy that. You can move while casting a thunderstorm? Okay, not much. And then it also serves as a, okay. Fair enough. Okay. I need to find that useful once. Or there, I would have found that increased range useful once. I'm gonna hold off until I unlock Judgment Bolt. Oh, hi, Jill. Still no? Okay. Wait. I saw a side quest. And you know what that means. Okay. Aside from the holes in my hull, everything's roses. The lake water doesn't agree with it, then. That's one way of putting it. And unless you've got some grand scheme to suck the black from the lake like we do in the atrium, that slurry will keep eating away at the timber like young Tech does our lemon tarts. I suppose a coat of pitch might stave off the rock for a moon or so. Assuming we had any pitch, which we don't. Not any bloody more. Doubt the old tub's got more than a dozen runs left in him. Oh my god. Look at that quest name. I want to say it. I really want to say it. <sighs> I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Of course, Obelus. Your skiff is our only means of reaching the mainland. Without it, we'd be lost. Well, well I'm glad someone round here sees it that way. To make pitch, you need pitch trees. But in case you haven't noticed, live trees are one of the thousand things sorely lacking in the Deadlands. Now, 
But I'm not so unkind as to ask you to fell a faraway forest and lug the logs back here to the mere. Which is why we'll be needing a suitable alternative. And it just so happens I once heard the thorny pictures of Curltail Falls cover themselves in a sticky wax to trap birds and beetles and whatnot. Might be enough to tide me over. Sounds easier than felling a faraway forest, that's for certain. Cock and ball. Oh, I just said it. <sighs> I shouldn't have said it. Oh. Side quest there. Imagine Obelis needing any more than this. Time to head home. Um. Something new in the shop, eh? Anyway. Um. Old map will head back for. Cock and ball. And I'll probably cut it there. I'm also definitely naming the video Finish that. that like. I'm, I'm, I'm naming the video cock and ball. It's, it's just well, happening. Did you find me some wax? Find is one way of putting it. Ugh. Reeks like a chocobo's ass. Oh, I don't suppose the Argo will mind as long as he stays above the waves. Argo? So your boat has a name? I didn't know. Yeah. Same as me old man. He was a ferryman himself back before the blight came. The boat's all I have left of him. And thanks to you, he'll sail another day. That's sweet. Ah, it's what a, what a wonderful name for a quest. 250? Range to flat attack, but oh my god. Yo, what is that currency? So, 1991. Okay, so if I... Also, I'm tempted to get a fourth bar of... Limit Break before getting Judgment Bolt. Flames were obscure. 
a rook's, you know, rook's gambit. I use all of these far too much. I suppose Wicked Wheel is more of a... I don't use Flames of Rebirth. Just a flat attack buff. I mean, I'm tempted. I don't know. Yeah, I guess I will. I don't use Wicked Wheel that much. that new currency I got a hold of. Oh. Yeah, Sid. How is it I never see you on the ferry? Ah, forget I asked. It's a really good question. Meaning because I didn't know he wasn't on the very easy time to... I'll have to more of his rest, check out the shop, and then end it. What happened here? Come on. We need to find the others. Jesus. Rest off staying where we are for now, I reckon. Anything catch your eye? I can sell some of this stuff. Oh, neat. Like a lot of this stuff. I'm gonna cut it here, so, um, yep, stay safe, drink loads of water, and spend quality time with your loved ones, uh, have a wonderful day, yeah, that's what I'm forgetting, um, I've been Blue Music 64, this has been Final Fantasy 16, uh, very, very spooky, hello, anyway, I will, uh, see you some other time, peace.